Never mind. Okay. All right, dude. I'll talk to you later, man. Tonight we're here in Corpus Christi, Texas at a local business. You know, people reach out to us all the time because they're dealing with paranormal activity. And tonight, a local business owner claims that there's paranormal activity inside of his business, and hopefully we can find some answers for him. So we are actually at a new flower shop in Corpus Christi. Uh, the building itself was previously a Circle K and a training center. And then after that, it was known Casa de Oro, which is a, was a jewelry store in Corpus Christi for about 40 years. Did my homework here. The owner passed and his master jeweler. This was his desk. Every time I'm moving stuff around is when I start hearing stuff. When I started moving like little things like uh, that shelf over there and the other table, the door, the door closed. Every time I'm messing with stuff, something happens. What history you have already? Does it seem to be a friendly ghost, aggravated ghost, or did you know? So, I mean, it's kind of both. I mean, he has activity that doesn't just kind of seem like they just want them to be aware that they're around. But like today with a piece of glass throwing, is that to get your attention or is it to harm you? We don't know. So the only person in this back room was me. And the vase was broken over there. Yeah. Everybody heard the glass. But I had my hands full, and I was walking out that door, go that way. Yeah, that's kind of hard. If no one's back here, and something's broken in a different area, yeah. you get multiple pieces in the same area. When I sent you that video, I went upstairs, and I'm walking through there, and that's when we caught. That's when I caught the hey. Right. You get a little eerie spot in this room right here. You kind of do. Right here. It kind of has that feeling like you're not supposed to be right here. Like, that you're not... That's... Because, I mean, even when I came yeah. up here by myself one time, or when I showed y'all the video, and you get the... And it's really dark, and I didn't want to come in here. Yeah. But, yeah. There's an energy in here. I don't... I don't... It's going to be interesting. Tonight, I'm hoping to figure out who's here, who's still showing themselves around, and just get some answers for Tony. I did. Okay. I saw it and I was like... Alright, so we got cameras in here. Yeah, we got cameras. But the most majority of the active places, I'll probably go night vision GoPro inside here. Okay. It's time to go lights out. Let's rock and roll. Is that one for this room? Alright. And the switch on the other side? Alright. Which is right there. That's dark. <laughs> so is there anybody here that would like to make their presence known? You can talk into the little red light in front of me. You can throw something, move something. We mean no disrespect in any way. We just want to communicate with you and see why you are still here. I hear that you like to hang out at the table that I'm sitting at, kind of the main desk part. So if that's true, come on over and join me. Or if it's not true, come over as well. These are actually uh, motion sensors, but they can also pick up energy. So we're still uh, testing them out, checking them out. You can see that if I put my hand over it, it doesn't do anything, right? So they actually kind of have to tap or touch it in some sort of way. 
and it will start flashing. If you want to come over and have a seat with me, come on over. Um, these will, you can play with these with your energy. So basically if you come up on it and you touch it, the lights are going to go off. That's letting me know that, hey, I'm here, I'm around. All right. I guess go in that room in there and face that room and see if there's any temperature differences. And I'm going to stay up, stay on this side of here. Yeah. See if there's any temperature differences. What's the reading now? Same thing. It's 88? Right. Well, it's constantly 86. Now. 86? Okay. I'm going to come in here, set back up, and I'm going to start seeing if I can't get it to uh, talk again or do the temperature change about the glass. If there's anybody in here tonight that wants to make their presence known, come closer to me and try to touch me or move something. Make some type of action. Did you throw the piece of glass? Come on, you don't have to be afraid. Throw something at me. Move something, throw something at me. Show me that you're here. Come on, move something, kick something over. There's a piece of cardboard. Let's make it easy. You have enough energy to move. If you have enough energy to move a piece of glass, move this cardboard. Kick it over, knock it, throw it towards me. Okay. They've heard voices, you've thrown glass, you've proven that you can try to manifest yourself when you want to, and I don't know if you're hiding or you're scared or whatever, but if you're in here in this room, I dare you to touch one of us, touch one of these lights, come after us. Try to make your presence known really, really good. I want, I want you to just give us your best. I mean, did you die here in this building? Did you die on this property? I mean, why are you here and why are you, you're not torturing the people here. You, you, you keep messing with them. Why are you messing with them? There's a face in there. 
thing though, the funny thing about it is I'm gonna take I took pictures of it, I'm not getting a lot of dust. Uh-huh. Even on the cameras you see stuff floating, even on your camera you would pick up a lot of stuff floating. Yeah. Uh, not. You were standing behind painting. We we got you on film. Could be. That's a possibility, yeah. And that sounds like an old lady's voice. Raspy. Raspy, maybe having a conversation. Hey, can you hear me? Like, what are we doing here? Can you hear what I'm saying? First off, thank you so much for allowing us to come in here and check out this place. You know, when you sent us the evidence to begin with, it really had my curiosity. Just, you know, a lot of times people send us that type of evidence and it can be explained very easily. Yeah. But then after coming in and investigating, it, it left me with so many more questions. But I think we got some answers. We'll do the yes one first and then we'll play it. Look out, whatever is here knows that we're here. It's real slight. So right after I make the comment, I think whatever thinks knows that we're here knows that we're here. You'll hear it right about here. A roll light. Yes. Look out! Whatever is here knows that we're here. That's a man's voice. Yeah. Right before the ghost box session, and we were just having a conversation. We plugged it in, and we were just generally having a conversation. And I heard talk to me or talking to me or whatever, and you hear me confirm what I heard. And then when I did audio, this is what I heard. Talking to me? Yeah. Talking to me. It's right here. And I don't know who the yeah is either, but that could have been any of us, any of the guys in the building. So then we have this one. And it almost repeats itself. And I don't remember what the question was in that moment. I honestly don't, but... Well, it sounds like someone on the talking. What the? That's clear. Yeah. And none of us heard, no, I haven't come through the radio. Like, no, I don't remember that being said. I don't remember any of us hearing that. No. But it's almost like they said it twice. This one I found interesting only because of what it says. And that was just like a general, like we, I guess we had had a conversation or a question was asked and it got kind of quiet in the room and that came across and it's like, okay. Wow. So then, let's do this one, I guess. 
And that sounds like an old lady's voice. Raspy. Raspy, maybe having a conversation. Hey, can you hear me? Like, what are we doing here? Can you hear what I'm saying? And by the look on your face, that voice sounds familiar to you. Mom. Okay. Like your mom, her mom? My mom. Okay, are you okay? We can take a break if you need to. Yeah, if we need to take a I know a that's, that's that. Yeah, yeah. And I never would have known that, or no. I would have told you that privately. I apologize. No, no, it's okay. Do you need a moment? No, no. See, before, you know, when, uh, back in last year, when I told mom that I was going to have a flower shop, she got happy. And I can't wait to see it. She passed away 11, 6 of 21. She never got to see it. Then I went to go pick up her ashes and I put them on top of this. That was her voice. But yeah, and that's something we wouldn't have known. Like, I, to me, it was just. Do you want to hear it again? No. Okay. And I can send it to you that way. You yeah. do have it when you feel like you want to be able to hear that for yourself. Um, I have messages from past loved ones that I listen to on occasion. Now this one, it's a voice, and it either says let's go or let's make gold. It's kind of, I don't, I just, it's one of those, it's, it's in between. Let's make gold. That's what I hear. I hear let's make gold. That surprised me. Now, this happens every once in a while where my name gets called, but this one actually calls out my full name, Montgomery. It's real soft. Wow. And it's almost like they're pronouncing the syllables Montgomery. Yep. Like I said, in that one hallway up there, it's it's just was kind of. It says where's he at? And that's a female voice, yeah. not my female voice. Wow. Yeah. 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 Wow. And then let's see. Uh, this is another orb mist. is because Jaime was asking questions. I heard about two. Yep. And what's that thing? I said if that was dust you would have saw many of them yeah and it wouldn't be just going in an angle yep and it's actually emitting a, emitting a light yeah this place really surprised me and i hope i hope some of this was able to give you some answers or oh man it does it really does and i i really do appreciate you guys coming out oh, of course. It's and, an honor. and there's yeah. no reason to say i'm sorry because that right yeah. there that that tells me a lot. I yeah. know, but I was reading your face, and I was like, okay, that one, that one hit. I've had it happen to me before uh, when my uncle passed away. I had gotten an EVP. We were doing a ghost tour uh, the next night, and I had investigated a place, and I got an EVP of him. So I know exactly what it feels like, and uh, it, it, it touches you in so many ways. Yeah. You know, there, there's no words that can describe when you get something like that. You yeah. know from deep down inside, I know the voice, I know who it's from, and then maybe it's something that you needed to hear. Yeah. So. In all honesty, that might just, you know, that shows you that she did see you open the flower shop. She is proud of you. Yeah. She's seen that, you know, you're being successful and you, you did it, right? And she's able, she's here with you and she's able to see that. Yeah, that's true. I really do appreciate it. Yes. And thank you so much. It was an honor. Yeah, it was. It here. was It was cool. It was, it yeah. was neat to come in here and do a flower shop that... You know, it's a flower shop now, but does have it some of those personal some things, and it's. And there is definitely something paranormal going on here. There is, yeah. no doubt in my mind that there is something paranormal here. So this investigation had really many levels to it. 
but the upstairs area had a lot more activity than the downstairs area. We had some really good experiences from objects moving that we could hear, and also over ghost box, some names were called out and even got a few answers. Really also got some interesting evidence, but this is one of those locations where more investigating is needed. And if you guys want to find out more about this investigation and others, make sure to head on over to SouthTexasHaunts.com. And if you're having trouble at your business, historical, or residence, make sure to submit an investigation request form, and your location might just be featured right here on South Texas Haunts. Okay, you guys can walk me up here. <laughs> Class. At the same time. Oh my god, I caught it. 